We're going to ask tonight's special guest, Keaton Slovis, to take part in a ranking game. Uh, but in this game, there are some right and wrong answers, at least to our first two ranking questions. Ranking question number one for Keaton Slovis. Uh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you uh, the top five BYU quarterbacks in career passing yardage. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you their names, and you're going to have to put them in the right order. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Someone's going to get mad at me. From one, from one through five. And we want you to start with one and then go to okay. five. All right? So I'm going to give you the five names, and then you go one through five. Okay, here are the names. Your, bo your boy, John Beck. Okay. Max Hall, Arizona guy. Arizona both, guy. They're both Arizona guys. Uh, Base Mc... Mountain View guys. Yes. Yes. Uh, Jim McMahon. Okay. Ty Detmer. Okay. And the national champion, Robbie Bosco. Those are the top five in some order. So one through five, what do you think? Career, passing yardage. Oh, you boy. You can start and start. We want you to go one through five. So start with one, who you think is number one. Something tells me, I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I'm going to go, Bo Robbie Bosco is going to be number one. He's putting Bosco one. I don't know if that's true. Okay. I, don't okay. know, I don't know anything. Like, everyone's throwing for okay. a crap ton of yards. So. Okay, so you're going, um, we're going one through Bosco five. Bosco one. Okay. And Ty Detmer won the Heisman. Yeah. So I think Ty's number two. Okay. Oh, this is hard. Um, can I ask, can I like ask a clarifying question to narrow this last one down for, for my last ones, I think? Okay. How many years did uh, Jim McMahon start? Well, he had parts of three years as a starter. Let's put it three that way. Three years. Yeah. See, that makes me think John or Max is higher then because I'm going to put John at three. Okay. Jim at four. Oh, but okay. Max is so recent. I feel like that should be higher. <laughs> I guess I'm going Max Hall at five. I'm sorry, Max. But. Okay. So he's gone Robbie Bosco one, Ty Detmer two, John and Beck John's three, recent two. Jim McMahon, Jim McMahon four, at four, and then uh, Max Hall at five. This is probably now, so before, wrong. Before I'm we, so sorry. I just no. want to preface. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is, this before, is a trap, too. Before we, give it, before we give the answer, the correct answer, you got two of these right. You okay. Got two of these All in right. the right spot. Okay. And that's one, like 40 percent, though. That's not, that's not super great. <laughs> if you if you complete 40 percent of your passes, that could be an issue. <laughs> yes, uh, definitely. No, but uh, so the ones you got right were three and four: John Beck and Jim McMahon. Here's the actual top five. Oh, that means Max is on top. Ty, Ty is way up there. Then you get Max, and Max will be mad at you for this one. Uh, yeah. And then you go John, Jim, and then Bosco at the very end there. Well, that so, Bosco. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he won a national championship. So he did, yeah. Funny. I saw his highlight uh, yesterday against Pittsburgh, so I, yeah. I just got excited. I saw him <laughs> get fired up, and I know that was a big game, too. So, if, as we saw there, only three BYU quarterbacks have gone over 10,000. And although it was done other places, I mean, most of the yards, he's going to hit 10,000 this weekend. So, what, Joe, what Keaton's Lois has done is, is pretty outstanding. <laughs> Our next ranking question for you, it's, uh, I'm going to give you the, the, the five names of the top five BYU, active BYU players in career NCAA receiving yardage. So these are teammates okay. of yours, okay? So I want the top five teammates from one through five in terms of their career NCAA receiving yardage. I say NCAA because you could include guys that were somewhere else. Right. Hint, hint. Yeah, okay. I got you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, you for that. I'm here to help. Uh, all right, so one through five. I hear your names. Okay. Uh, Darius Lassiter. Yep. Keelan Marion. Isaac Rex. Okay. Keanu Hill. And Cody Epps. These are teammates of yours. We've got to put them one through five. Career NCAA receiving yardage. Okay, but the oldest one there is Rex. I'm putting Rex at one because I think – He's close to breaking some records, too. He's got to 21 knowledge. touchdowns. 21 yeah, touchdowns. That's, that's a pretty good number, Yard, right? but, yards is, but everyone else is younger. And then Darius and Keelan are the transfers. Oh, this is tough. I'm going to go Lassiter at two. Okay. Oh, might be Keelan, though. Okay, Keelan's at three, then. Okay. And then Keanu's at four. I think Cody's at five. Okay, and of this list... I'll say he put, you put Keelan, you put, uh, okay, yeah. Keanu at four. Although, oh, that's Keanu's and tough, Keanu's, too. And then uh, you put uh, Cody at five, is that right? Cody Epps? Yes. Epps for five, okay. So of this list. Cody's average yards per game would be higher, but yeah, he, career. Yeah, yeah. Just want to put that out there, Cody, if you're okay. listening. <laughs> <laughs> if we were going by average, he would have had you much higher. All right, so on this list, you got one correct. <laughs> well, if the order is closer, I'm okay with that. Yeah, so we'll so, see. We'll so, see what it's, so it's Keelan, like. Keelan Marion, right in the middle, is, is number three. That's correct. Oh. Your number one guy is Keanu Hill. 
Really? Yeah, and Isaac's right there, but Keanu's number one. Then you get Keelan, it's only Cody, a thousand. and Darius Lassiter. There you go. I thought Isaac would have a little bit more than that. We got to work on the speed a little bit. <laughs> no, that makes, that makes a lot of sense looking at it now. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, right. guys. Now, this last one, there, there's no right or wrong on this last one here. So we are going to ask you to identify your top five <laughs> Utah food items. In, in, okay, and you okay. can put this one, and this is all you now, uh, but here we go. These are your well, options. I can't get this one. I can't screw this one you really up. really can't so mess this one up. Yeah. Uh, so the options here were fry sauce, uh, BYU Creamery ice cream, uh, Rancheritos slash Beto's, any one of those two haunts, okay. uh, a cougar tail, or Utah's famous funeral potatoes. <laughs> so again, your options are... Uh, fry sauce, creamery ice cream, uh, the Mexican food, the cougar tail, or the funeral potatoes. And this is all you, so you yeah. can say whatever you creamery's like. Creamery's going to the top. Creamery's As we top. talked about during the break, that's pretty no-brainer. Graham Canyon, shout okay. out to Graham Canyon. Uh, shout out to shout out Sataki Road. And Sataki Road, even though yeah. I haven't had it yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it after this. I'm going to eat them all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, number two stuff. Probably go Rancheritos. Uh, slash Beto's. Beto's. Just the slash Mexican Beto's. food. We'll yep. hit the Mexican food. Okay. Um, this isn't the cleanest list ever. But <laughs> and then what we got left? We, we got, got the we fry got the, sauce. We got we the got fry got sauce, the cougar tail, cougar and the tail. potatoes. I'm going to go cougar tail at three. Fry sauce at four, and then the potatoes. Have you even had the funeral potatoes yet? I have once. I'm okay. just not a huge funeral potato guy, okay. to be honest. It's not, it's not a slide on the potato. It's just not my thing. But it's a well-earned five for it you. It is, yeah. Okay, all right. It's still in the top five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? Uh, that was quite the hot seat. Let's have a hand for Keaton Sorbis on that.